Welcome back, welcome back. This is the Upside Down Show and uh, we're glad that you could stay with us. Uh, today is very insightful and very inspiring. And then uh, we're going to move on to a lot of mixing the every till that you want. I mean, mm -hmm. cocktail, till, milk till, sauce till, folk till, all the tills. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How do you yeah. like your cocktails? Well, I love my cocktail, you know, with some mint, you know, mm -hmm. or some lemon. Mm -hmm. You know, I love it very colorful, especially when they come in layers, you know. Sure, I mean, sure. it just brightens up my mood and all. Mm -hmm. I'm not too much a fan of mocktails. Okay. I love cocktails. And I, I hope you know why. I believe I know why. <laughs> well, and so we have somebody who has made it her business you know to serve the mm. best cocktails and mocktails and she's going to be taking us through and also give us some one or two tips something that you can do on your own especially in this era where um we don't get to go out so often you can just entertain yourself and so mm -hmm. our guest you know to help us do the mixing and the tasting and everything in between please help us welcome she makes also known as Madeline. Madeline. How are you doing? I'm good. All right, so I, I think we just go straight to your table and all right. So what are you going to do for us today? Okay, so first off, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask her, you know, ladies first. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you like your mixes? Well, it depends on what you have. Okay, so there's apple juice, there's cranberry, there's pineapple, there's orange, mm. and then for the syrups, I have passion fruits, I have ginger, I have grenadine, and I have blue cresol. Mm. Okay, now to begin with, you know, you often hear um, cocktail, mocktail. What is the difference? Okay, so a cocktail, it's like a drink that's made of a combination of alcohol, like a liquor, mm -hmm. and then a mixer, which could be a fruit juice or a syrup. Mm. Okay. And then a mocktail is like something that's basically non-alcoholic, maybe a fruit juice and then a syrup. Wow. Okay, so what are we having today? Just mocktails. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> no, you got it? You yeah, got yeah, it? Yeah, you got yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I think something with apple. And mm -hmm. what goes best with apple? So you can blend apple perfectly with passion fruits and ginger and mm. a bit of mint. Mm. And I can take you on on that. Sure. I trust All right. you. So, I mean, we're just going to leave you to do that and then uh, we'll interact with you. Ask sure. you a few questions. Um, usually people try or uh, compare the bartender to the mixologist. So if you can just throw some light mm. on that. Okay, What's the sure. difference between the two? So a bartender is basically... No, you, can, you can be doing it while you're talking. someone who is behind the bar, mm -hmm. works with already made syrups, liquor, liquor. Mm -hmm. A mixologist is someone who carefully crafts the art oh. of making okay. the drink. So you make your syrups yourself, you infuse like um, fruits or spices into liquor. So mixology is more like an art. A bartender is just behind the bar making your mm. drinks just and serving, serving them to you. you. To you. Yeah. So with the staff here, what did you do yourself? So I made all the syrups except the blue crassal myself. Mm. Yes, but the passion fruits, the ginger and the grenadine, I made myself. Interesting. So how yeah. long have you been doing this? For about four years. Mm. Yeah. And how is it? Yeah, it's because you know, you know it's very <laughs> rare to come across a a mixologist that's actually female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, how, like, what inspired you? How did you start? Um, I started at a friend's party. We had a few drinks. We didn't know what to do with them. So I went online, searched for some recipes, and then my interest just, like, mm. aroused. Yeah. And so what was the first um, cocktail or mocktail that you did? Um, I don't remember the name, but I think it was actually something with cranberry, apple, and lemon. Mm. Yes. And then we added a bit mm. of vodka. Mm -mm. Was <laughs> How was that? It was awesome. Right. So I also see that sometimes you add mint, sometimes lemon. Can you just decide to put mint anywhere or there are specifics that go with mint? And um, you can be creative. Mm -hmm. Some people like to have like that minty cool effect like yeah. when they're having a drink. So yeah. you can always put the mint in it. Some people don't like alcohol. And then they want something a bit citrusy, a bit sour. Mm. You can do the mint and the lemon. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Okay. Wow. But does this business pay? Or you do it for fun? Oh, it pays. Really? Yeah. Because people drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it pays. I, I, I was going to say something, but I'll keep, I'll keep it to myself. No, 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 say it. No, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to give them mm. <laughs> their own impression. So what are the popular yeah. ones? What are the popular cocktails and mocktails? Yeah. Okay, so for like the classic cocktails that are popular, we have like the pina coladas, mm -hmm. mojitos, yeah. tequila sunrise, mm -hmm. um, daiquiris, the screwdriver and sex on the beach yes mm. but i wonder people don't want to say sex on the beach yeah. <laughs> if i want cocktail do i have to know what i'm looking for or anything can go okay so um most of the times when i'm at an event i always ask is there anything on the menu that you're allergic to because mm -hmm. i went to an event and then 
we had pina colada on the menu, and then one of the um, guests said, um, milk makes her run. Okay. Yes, yeah, so. You avoided it. Yeah, she avoided mm -hmm. it, yes. Yeah, so mostly milky cocktails can upset the tummy. The tummy, yes. Because mm -hmm. especially when you're mixing like a citrus based or an acidic thing with milk, yes. It's, it's it, it tends to peg it. It's just a few people that, <laughs> that yeah, react can take everything. React to it. I've actually seen a cocktail being done that had egg in it. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, what? people mostly use the egg white. The egg, egg white, white gives like a foamy, like feel to the drink. But how would it yes. taste? It doesn't really change the taste. It just gives really? that foamy effect because it's not the yolk; it's just the white. Mm. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. But has there been times that you know you got your mixes wrong? Not at an event, but I think maybe my one experience was one thing you should never do is if someone wants like a cocktail, mm -hmm. never put too much booze. Put little from the beginning because if it's not enough for the person, you can always top, top up. up. But when you put too, too much, much then the drink out. goes waste. So mm. I think that's the only thing mm. that went wrong once. Yes, wow. guys, you hear too strong. Home. If you want to make your own cocktail, please start little. Don't be adding the the booze just and then you waste your drink. Yeah. Mm. Wow, this looks good. Firma likes a lot of color, so you want to. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I like colors, colors, rainbow some. stuff, you know. Okay, so I want wow. to try it first. Okay. Okay. So there's a straw here. Sorry. Let me help you. <laughs> yes. Yep. Mm. Okay. You don't have to wait for her to. No, no, you don't have to wait. Please drink, drink. <laughs> Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> right. So this is it. So what's this called? So this is called Joa. Wow. Spell that. J o o w a a like Ga Joa Joa. Ah, Joa. I don't speak Ghana. Hey. What does that mean? Dance. So like dance, dance. like dance. dance a lot. Yeah. I think it's having music at this point. <laughs> Alright, so can I give us some girl music, you know? Yes. Yeah. Joa, like jo dance hard. Oh, so it means uh, my producer is telling me it means dance hard. So can we get some dance hard music? <laughs> if there's anything like that. <laughs> anyway, so right. uh, what are you going to do for me? Um, I'm going to make a mojito for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so with regards to the mojitos, I've heard of a virgin, I've heard of the ones that wear suits. Which kind of mojito are you doing for me? Okay, so I'm doing like a regular mojito. That's mm. just mint, lemon, and then the soda. Okay. But there are other versions. You can have like a passion fruit, a berry mojito. So a regular mojito is just a mint, lime, and then the soda. Okay. But then when you add any other fruit to it, so you can call it a pineapple mojito, a passion fruit mojito, a strawberry mojito. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let me see if I can just take you back a bit. Oh, you, no, you go. No, so I wanted to know what mm -hmm. and what and what is in this because it tastes really nice. So there's Very sweet. apple in there, mm -hmm. there's passion fruit syrup, mm -hmm. there's ginger. Yeah, just mm. those three. So if I try this at home, will I get this? Yes, you will. I want to go and do anything at home and then <laughs> mine is not like this. So, like I was saying, um, yeah. I just wanted to ask you, you mentioned um, having a menu at your bar. Um, yeah. Do you consider the food that the, your, your people who come to your table actually eat before putting together a menu? Because okay. let's say you have an event, a wedding event, do you yeah. consider what the caterers are bringing for food to advise what you put on your menu? Okay, so what we do is, when a client books our services, we send you a menu of about 20 different drinks. Mm. Okay. So you go through and then you pick what you want. If there's something on there that you don't like, you tell us, we take it out. If there's something that's not there that you want, then we customize the menu for you. Mm. So we actually leave it to the clients to choose what they want. What they want. Mm. Yes. So in making cocktails and mocktails, are there any do's and don'ts? Yes. Apart from, you know, not um, starting with too much alcohol, what else? Another thing is you should never shake a drink that has fizz in it or gas okay. in it. Okay. Okay. Because if I put the soda in the shaker and, and I shake, shake it, it's going to pop. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't do that. It's one thing that you don't want to do. Yeah, you don't want to do. Yeah. So my very son, I should be making drinks on this show, you know what I mean? This is so sweet, so yeah, refreshing. Yeah, you are not inviting me. Leave me invite No, they are doing something for you. They are doing waiting for you. <laughs> no. So, can kids take um, mocktails? Mock yes, kids can. Okay, but are there specific thank stuff you, for children? Thank you, thank you, So, uh, most of the times for kids events, we like doing very fruity stuff and mm. then milky stuff. Yeah, so you can make like a... Um, a milkshake, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. and then you can make maybe like a pina. Kids love pina coladas. Mm -hmm. That okay. one I can attest to that fact. Kids love pina coladas. So, so when you are preparing cocktails, for instance, do you factor in gender? Do you factor in age and all that? Sometimes it's a bit dicey. Mm -hmm. You can go to an event and expect the guys to come for the cocktails, 
and you rather see the ladies come Coming. for the cocktails. I remember the first job I ever had, it was my cousin's wedding. I was expecting the guys to come for the cocktails. It was ladies that approached the bar first, mm. and they all wanted something strong. Well, don't wow. say what a man can do, a woman can do. Sometimes <laughs> even better, so. So since you said you liked something with colors, I'm going to do something with like a layered effect for you. Ah, you're just a savior. Yeah. Right, so this is it, you know. Um, mocktails, cocktails, at least. If you didn't know, now you are getting some tips on that, and you are learning also what you can, what you cannot do, what you should be giving children, and as adults, what you should be taking at least you know that you don't start with so much alcohol because yeah. it can really throw you off and mess you up so we are here with she mixologist and she is doing amazing how i wish you could taste uh, the cocktails so um she um i, yeah. I know with this particular drink you're going to actually make sure that they are layers how do you do it do you just pour it in wow how do you do it like how does it okay. work okay so you know the syrups because syrups are basically like a mixture of sugar and water and the fruit. They are a bit thicker or denser Dense. than the juices. Okay. Yeah. So they mostly just sink to the sink bottom to the and bottom. that's what gives you the layered effect. Wow. Can you imagine? It's so simple. I thought it was some kind of skill and yeah. art. No, if yeah. you don't know, you don't know. You see, if, if, you, if, if, if Rima, I was telling Rima that she should have paid attention in uh, physics class because density, and one, yeah, and one, and one. Yes, my student. <laughs> I mean, we all can't do our mocktails and cocktails, otherwise, how we should be in business. So we all have what we have to be doing mm -hmm. and leave the cocktails and the... So I'm sure you're going to do this drink and join us, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. So we can do our... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sir. So can we go there and do a proper mm -hmm. Sure. Of course. <laughs> wow. I'm almost done with my drink. <laughs> so the do our keke. Yeah, I think so. Well, funny enough, like our drinks match what we are wearing. So Femma's got something red in there. Mm -hmm. um, she may sort of just has something blue yeah. in there to match the upside down and everything. Mm -hmm. And, and you got something green down there. Yeah. yeah, to match everything that I love. And guys at home, I'm sure you guys were able to make up your own drinks uh, with this small session we had with Madeleine, AKA the She Missologist. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are having fun. I hope you guys can just dance at home with us. Mmm. Here. No, that's not shy. <laughs> you brought the name also. <laughs> we are all kidding. All right. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is it. Madeline, thank you very much. At least now we've learned something really interesting. And any day, any time, I know that I can fix myself something really cool. Thank you very much. So this is the Upside Down Show. We'll be right back. Still to come on the Upside Down Show. Reggie and Zilla Rockstone share their story with Frema and Atul.